Hello, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Things Home Decor and Lifestyle. Now today's video is a little different. It's not a shot with me. I'm actually doing some crafting today. And I am going to be participating in a collaboration. This is being hosted by Anna of the Grace Life DIY channel and Penny of Penny's Lifestyle Living. And they are hosting the Re Galore collaboration. So, guys, I'm going to link their information uh, down in my description box. And there's going to be a playlist of other participants who are also making or maybe showing how they are maybe um, styling their homes with wreaths. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a snowflake wreath. And so my theme for Christmas this year is let it snow. So I'm going to be incorporating uh, white and snowflakes on my wreaths and on my tree once I purchase one and get myself situated. So if you want to see how this snowflake wreath Turns out, continue watching. Now, um, here are some of the things that you're going to need. Now, I'm starting with just like a dollar twenty-five. Um, I think this may be like a fourteen and three, and I've already covered it with some white material. Now, I have seen where some folks actually spray paint theirs, but it's been kind of a little rain, and I just didn't want to go outside and do that. So I have this felt material and I decided to just cover it. And also, this is just going to, for me, be an easier way to get the snowflakes to adhere uh, to the wreath. So that's the first thing I did. I just cut some strips of cloth and I put it around my wreath. So I'm using, of course, glue sticks to glue that on and have my glue gun. And I've been working on some other things too, but, and I have um, these 10 in a pack. I got these from the Dollar Tree and they were 125. They're the small ones. They are about three and a half inches in diameter. And then I have the larger ones. Uh, they are $1.25 too. And they were six in a pack. These were six in a pack. And these are about four inches in diameter. And I'm going to be using these first. And then I'm going to put an overlay of the smaller ones. So here we go, guys. So I'm going to start gluing down the whites. And I'll just jam uh, a little bit so you can see. That. So this should go really quickly. I've already kind of pre-planned how I wanted them, so I'm going to place those here first. Uh -oh. yeah. So I have my glue on low I have my finger and my finger press down. Yeah. 
and it's going to be okay if I overlap a few because I'll get plenty and if I need to get more and I'll turn on this go back and get some more uh, for my tree. And I try to be careful, and I don't do a lot of crafting, but sometimes I just let them get carried away. And if you're not focused, you definitely can burn your fingers. And as I said, you have to go through them on low, but... Now, I think I posted this on my community page. I'm wondering what theme you're using this year. So in the comments below, let me know what theme you're using. I know most of the people have already decorated. I'm a little behind. But I'm going to, okay, so that's how that's looking. Then I'm going to go on top with the smaller um snowflakes and this is just a really simple little project just gonna go in between where they kind of overlap a little bit and place these snowflakes there. This is going rather quickly. And I really wanted to show some support for Anna and Penny for hosting this. And I love to thank them also for giving me an opportunity to participate in this and This is just a fun way that we creators can show support for other creators. Now I'm going to finish this up and let you listen to some Christmas music. Another pack here. And this is how my snowflake wreath turned out. I'm going to attach maybe a ribbon, a white ribbon, and then hang it from my tree. So I'm going to take you over to my door. I'm actually in my craft room. I see some spider webs. Not actually spider webs, but the glue strings. I need to remove those. But see, I think this is going to look beautiful on my black door. I'm going to maybe put it outside. Uh, maybe later on. I don't want to put anything too bulky on the door because I have a glass screen door and then that tends to, you know, get crunched up. Our wreath would tend to get crunched up between the front door and the screen door. So I am going to maybe hang it below the glass or just hang it inside on my craft doors. In fact, all the doors are black. So I think this is going to look absolutely beautiful. Folks, thanks for watching. And again, thanks for Anna of the Grace Life DIY channel and Penny of Penny's Lifestyle Living for hosting 
this beautiful collaboration. Folks, I'll see you in the next video.